yeah so guys you guys are welcome back again to my channel yeah so can i see the top like that yeah the top of that concrete okay so guys you're welcome to this site again yeah so very quick one i've i've done a level concerning this site that the the client gave us instruction that we should use 3 mm, 300 mm above the road level, the existing road level. That is the external. That we should transfer it into the property, into our project, and that would be our benchmark for for the compound level. So from compound level, we we'll take another 600 above, and that will be for the ground floor level. Yeah, and I've done that the last time I came. I think I show I showed you guys. I've done a video on that before. So I've done that the last time I came. So today they said they, they want to change it. The architect decided to, to change the, the level aspect of it. So the instruction they gave us now is we should use the, the culverts, the external culverts on top on the top of the drainage. So we should use that as our use that as our benchmark. You can see my colleague is there already. So we'll place the staff on top of the culverts. So they said from the top of the culvert, we should take 150 mm above. 150 mm above the culvert. Then after that, 150 mm, we'll take, uh, we'll take another 300 mm. Let's say 450 altogether. 450 above the culvert will be our ground floor, will be our compound level on, on this project. So that was what the architect decided on. So that 450 mm above the, the existing culvert uh, will be our compound level. So from the compound level, we'll take another 450 mm above and that will be our ground floor level so that is what i want to make changes on today so i decided to show you guys on that so i want to it's like i'm doing it new it's like i'm doing it afresh the the one we marked i don't know maybe it's still going to work so that's what i want to check now but i want to do it afresh let's say we just want to transfer a benchmark to a site so that is this is how you get it done they said they needed 450 mm above the existing culvert so that's what i want to do now so my level instrument is set already so i will check the staff he has placed the staff on on the the culvert so i'm having one one five six seven one one seven zero so let me show you guys i'm having one one seven zero as my can you see it as my benchmark okay mark yeah come over so if i have one one seven zero as my benchmark one one seven zero 1170 as my benchmark so and they said they needed 450 mm above my benchmark so what am i going to do i'm going to subtract 450 from 1170 my 1170 minus 450 so what's going to be my final answer that is, is 550 that is 6 that is 620 550 620 or oh, 620 will be my final answer so i will be transferring 620 let me see where it's where it falls so i want to yeah let's transfer it on that hood one so i want to transfer 620 and that will be for my compound level so from there we'll take another 450 mm above for the for the ground for the ground floor slab so that is that's how to transfer a benchmark to a site the 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 architect will definitely give uh, an instruction or it will be in the drawing you can take it inside uh -huh. So, so I want to check if it's going to still going to be work with what we did before. So as I've said it earlier, they will definitely give you an instruction. It's either it is in the drawing or the architect will will give you an instruction which is going to sign on six twenty. Okay, down, 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 up, small. All right. Yeah, Mark. So let me show you guys. Is there already? Put it there first. Okay. Are you there? All right. You don't mark out. Yeah, mark. So 620. So that is for the compound level now. So we are taking another 450 up from there. So if we are taking 450 up from there. So what are we going to have? 620 minus 450 again. So are we going to have 620 minus 450? So what am I going to have? We still have another one on it. So that is 150. We we'll have 170. So 170 will be our. Oh yeah, take it again. 170 will be our our ground floor level down down small small down okay yeah mark so that is 170 and that will be for our 
take your hand. Aha. Uh -huh. So, can you guys see it? That is 170. Okay. So I think there's there's we have we have changes. So there's a little change. I think maybe that's the reason why the architect decided to change the the level instruction here. Okay. So what's the difference? Let me measure this the old one and the new one. Is 15 what? Okay, 15. 15. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So when they get spray paint, we we'll, we we'll clean this one. So we only use this one, and this this is the two that we'll be using. This is our compound level, and this is our ground floor. Let me measure from this to this. If it is up to 450, it should be 450. Yeah, it's 450. It's 450. All right. Okay. That means we are good. Okay, so do, we don't need to stress ourselves. So this is what we'll do. So on the other points, we'll just check this measurement. We we'll take this measurement up on the rest, then we we'll take it down. So, so that's just it, guys. That is how to transfer a benchmark to to a new project or to a site. So you just keep taking the same level, the same result, the same final answer you are getting. That is what you must be be seen at every spot if i want to transfer that same compound level to another hangul that means i have to i have to be observing 620 and if it is the ground floor level so i have to be observing one that is 170 so that's that's it guys okay